All right, here we go. Number one, the voice of God must be a terrible, frightening thing. I never heard from God directly, unless you count the son, my son, which I don't. He was many things to many people. For some, he was a teacher, a troublemaker, a healer, a leader, a messiah, a god, the god. But for me, he was always and ever and always and never anything other than my son, the child who was given to me, then taken from me, then finally taken from me again, and little by little given to the world. And, and, uh, I'm in trouble turning these pages. Ah, number two. After my son was taken from me, as if that were not enough, I was taken from me, all of me. First my flaws, then my sins, then my sexuality, then anything that did not fit into their divine notion of who or what or wherefore I should be or represent. I became for them the perfect mother, the perfect example of maternal love, always loving, never scolding, never failing, never fading, never ever fornicating. An icon, as bloodless as a statue and just as changeless, as sad as Antigone and as faithful as a St. Bernard. I'm going to do one more. This is number three. Time was God spoke directly to his creation, his Adam, his Eve. That was before the fall, before sin brought death and life into the world. After he threw his people out of the garden, his laboratory, God held back. He couldn't look directly at Adam or any of his progeny. He couldn't walk with them and talk with them. It was as if something had been taken from him and could not be returned. So instead of being there, he sent angels and signs and portents and the occasional smoldering plant. Even when he produced his son himself, within me. I never heard him, never saw him, never felt him. Instead, he sent a messenger, an errand boy, to take away the life I had known, the life I had planned for and hoped for, and give me a life I could never have imagined. To give me once and for all to an elder carpenter who could no more give me a child than he could overthrow an empire, but who was willing to have me there is a part of me that wishes I had said something, had called for the Creator's attention, said, excuse me, if you're going to get me pregnant, you're going to at least put in an appearance. Zeus did, and he did not even exist. <laughs>